The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the member for Ballina. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I rise, of course, uh, this is our, we put forward this debate, and it's just pretty disturbing uh, because what must yes, be in it, are. what must be in it that a, um, a minister is basically uh, attacking and deflecting rather than addressing the actual issue, which is what, what is the deal? What is the coalition deal? But I digress because we're talking about transparency and we're talking about democracy. And what we've seen is that this, the Nationals have become, in particular, uh, and the LNP, but the Nationals, a party of secret deals. And I've seen this firsthand in my own electorate. Because on the one hand, we talk about, you know, people in my community with such cynicism saw that after 27 years of the Nationals in the seat of Ballina, they have seen a huge increase in government money for infrastructure. And why is that so? It's because we've become a marginal seat. And I've said it many, many times in here that the cynicism that we all know is that the only time you seem to get an injection from government when some, a party is in government is when they either want it back or they're about to lose it. And my community wants to see so much more. And I know that my colleagues in the Greens agree with me and that I'm sure there isn't a member in the opposition who would not like to see a transparent, needs-based funding model that is at arm's length from politicians. But that's not what we have. And I'll give you an example, Madam Speaker, which I thought was one of the worst that I've seen, because the Nationals candidate in my electorate, we watched him, you know, um, you know, there was jokes that he would go to the opening of an envelope, but it wasn't a joke that, that basically with both my councils, we know from the grants uh, rorts that have come into the public domain, we now understand that those councils were held hostage. Those councils were told that they could not do any announcements, uh, that it needed to be at the pleasure of the Nationals candidate. And we saw that in other electorates. And that it was the captain's pick rather than taxpayers' money, and as we heard from the member for Murray today, the democratically elected members of parliament simply not getting the invite. And I cannot tell you how many times I have been told, oh no, we sent you an invite, and my office has an incredibly diligent administration system, and that is simply not the case. But Billy Nudgell, this was too much to bear. After the floods, and we saw that the floods were expected to recognise electoral boundaries, and Billy Nudgell in, in the electorate of Ballina was underwater, and we didn't get that first round of funding. Fast forward a year and a half, two community members put forward a proposal with the Bureau of Meteorology for an early warning system for Billy Nudgell, and council led that grant application. And they were successful, but do you know what? The, the proponents of that grant told me that the member that the upper house member national wannabe candidate quarantined that and they waited many many weeks and if there had been a flood during that time that community was in peril because of the ego and the absolute uh, showmanship of a wannabe candidate and that is just one example of the kinds of cloak and dagger secret deals that are being done. And I am calling today that we need to do so much better. Tell us what the coalition deal is. Tell the communities why a party that only gets 5%, 5% of the vote is, has so many ministers. What is the deal? What is behind the veil? Lift it. And it's interesting to hear the minister talk about preference deals. We're not talking about preference deals, minister. We are talking about your government. I bet you're not. And we are I talking bet you're not. about your deals in government. And that has been laid bare, as the member for Newtown has exposed. That has been laid bare in the last week, absolutely for all to see. And I return to the cynicism, Madam Speaker, the cynicism that is out there. And I simply will not move. We have. We have seen the, where the cynicism gets us, and it's time for us to all turn our minds to open and transparent uh, funding and an open, transparent coalition agreement so people can actually see what they are getting. And I look forward to hearing the contributions of the Minister uh, for Water, um, given that she talked about backroom deals today, in this very day, 
that things would be done behind closed doors. We're tired of that. We want to see openness, and our communities really deserve that kind of democracy. Thank you.